Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing a, um, I already got my face makeup on for everything that I don't have in this collection. The bronzer, the foundation, uh, that was all boring stuff that it had nothing to do with it. Um, but I did get when I was in Slidell or Mississippi, one of them, I got the collection that they had available the stuff they had available that I was interested in from Wet n Wild for their Halloween collection. We have the blush. It's a black blush, but it's color changing. It's called Zombie Blush. They didn't have the other ones available, and I looked when I got home, and at my Walmarts, they don't have it out. So, I can't guarantee it's at your Walmart, but I can guarantee it is on the um, Wet n Wild website. Some stores have it. I don't know which store. So this is what it looks like when you put it on your finger. So we're going to swatch it. And it's got like a reddish different color thing going for it. Get my Neutrogena wipes. I started to not feel good again last night. It's Tuesday right now. Um, I'm going to record another video that's actually going to go up today. Um, and I'm going to start a series with it kind of maybe i'm working on it i want to do something different all right and i got three blood br highlighters this one is called caught in your web it's a white and it looks like it changes into a purple we're gonna swatch it and it does it turns into a purple that is like really holographic okay then we got, I must have laid, oh, I have powder on the, okay. Then we got a black one called Not Your Basic Witch. Not sure how this is a highlighter, but it's what it says it is. And that's what it looks like on your finger. It's literally black. It says it's a highlighter. I think it must be because of the glitter. Do you see the glitter? There's only a couple pieces. I don't know if I would use that for a highlighter or not um, maybe if I'm doing a Halloween costume that would work and then this one is red this one to me and it's called vampy dreams this one to me would probably be a better blush but it does have a lot of sparkles in it all right so those are the three highlighters the only one I actually see being a highlighter would be the white one depending on your skin tone. Might be able to mix the red one in though with the blush to actually have a little bit of a blush color. All right, then we have um, Coffin Break. I haven't opened this one and I'm not going to. I'm gonna add it to the giveaway for this month. It's got the black and the browns and the golds and it's just a neutral palette and I have lots of neutral palettes. So that's why I figured I would add this one to the Wet n Wild giveaway. So, then I have ones I've already opened and swatched. This one is called Wizards in Training. I love the color story in here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to first, I'm going to um, gonna get the two transition shades. One's purple and one's like a brownish. Those two are the transition shades, the purple on top and the brown on the bottom. All right, now we're going to go into the first row. Uh, start with the, yeah, there's that one, then that one, then that one. Rinse it off my fingers, and then that one. Now I'm going to go into the second row. That looks like it's going to be a pretty color. not really going to show up too much I don't think. Let's try to get a little bit more. No. It's probably going to be like a and then this one is white is the last one. Okay, starting from the top and that's the first row. These four colors are the first row and these are the second row. I'll show you the palette again so you can see. So this color here comes off black look okay. 
and then it like shade shifts a little bit but it looks mostly black and then that one right here that you think would be very pigmented it's like really light see how it barely shows up on my finger it's like a it reminds me of glass bowl by um color pop all right got all that off my fingers and we're actually going to use the other arm for the other palette okay this one i'm putting over here so i don't grab it on accident again okay and now we got this one it's called the boo crew and we're going to use this hand and put it on here so we have clean fingers that transition and then this black transition the black is a little patchy and the other one doesn't really show up on my hand but it show on my arm it kind of literally blends in it's right there that is basically what a transition color is supposed to be okay I'm rinsing off that and I'm cleaning my fingers because that black all right might need to get a different all right got them as clean as I can and I got a piece of all right so we're gonna start down next to the black and we're gonna get this this and this on the first row so we start off with the green then the blue and that blue doesn't show up that much wow okay and then another green and that one doesn't show up very much. Look at that. All right. Um, then we're going to go in with this like really big blue. <laughs> that is so funny. They are so pigmented on my fingers. This rag is all. It's not a rag. It's a Neutrogena wipe. Let's try to get some stuff. Let's get a different wipe. Let's see if that helps with some colors. All right. Now we're going to go on the second row. All right. Now we got this brown. Okay. Now these are showing up. This green. And it's like turquoise color. Wow. That row didn't come to play. See how that matte color does because it's the only other matte color besides the transition shades. Let's go ahead and grab that green. Uh, it's a little patchy. But look at that. Isn't that beautiful? All right. So some of these shades don't want to show up. Some of them do. Let's start off with the blush. Um, and we'll do a look using these two palettes. Um, let me find my blush brush. There we go. We got our little blush brush. We're going to go into the zombie blush. We are. Just got a little bit of it on there. It's like catching, you see this? It's like catching on something, but I put moisturizer on. Mm. I don't know what it's catching on right there. Mm. All right, let's, um, let's try the other side and see if it catches. It's not very pigmented. I wonder if you need to take a, let's take a beauty, do I have a beauty blender I'm not worried about? Yeah, we'll use this one. I'm gonna kind of put it on here. It's very patchy. And then it comes off more black 
And my face makeup was looking pretty decent. It's definitely zombified. Let's see how we, if I can fix this. Wow. You see what I'm talking about though? It's there and then it's there. And I left the same pressure on the brush. So it shouldn't have done that. And over here, it's just not wanting to go down. Have y'all seen other videos? I didn't want to watch other videos about this. If, uh, so I didn't want to like bother my opinion, if that makes any sense. Some powder on here. Let's go ahead and do that and try to blend it. It's not working. Okay. Let's go in with the um, red highlighter. We're going to grab a different brush for blush and we're going to try to put this down. as a blush. Let's see if we can fix it. Let me uh, shade switch the original blush brush. Okay, I can say this works a little better. And we'll diffuse it. With the powder brush. Okay. All right, now let's take a highlighter brush and we're gonna go into the um, white one because we're not gonna be adventurous anymore on this. Well, we are, but we're not. Okay, this is like, let's use the Wet n Wild brush, highlighter brush. Mm. I really don't like the way that looks. It's almost like they just rushed to get that blush out and didn't pay attention to whether or not it would work. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> this looks really tragic. It's a good thing this is a Halloween look. It's a bad thing I wanted to record a video after this because I'm probably not going to and this will probably be going up. <laughs> so I'll record the other one later. Yeah. Good thing I'm not going anywhere, right? <laughs> okay. First, I want to go in with this one for the eyes. I'm moving on for now. Let's go ahead and take the shade switcher and some of our brushes. And we're going to first go into this as a transition color here. Oh, gosh. I will fix that little part right there. Okay, he's still dressed. That would have been all I needed. It was for him to walk through naked. What are you doing? Don't. We are putting this down as a transition. Okay. I hate this blush. I hate this blush. I hate this blush. And I usually love Wet n Wild products. It's just driving me nuts. Every time I look at myself, I see that. Okay. Okay. Now, we're going to take this one. And we're going to go into that green shade and see what we can do with it. This matte one. I know this isn't really going to be a Halloween look. Although... 
I would say with the blush. It's kind of scary. I'm just trying to figure out. Okay, I had an issue with Eric. Had to walk away for a minute. I think we were going into the green in here. I would do the black, but black, you mess up. It is so hard to fix. And, I mean, I will probably go, go into the black in a minute, actually, because this is... I'm trying to use as many of the stuff in the shades as I can. Now, I'm not exactly sure how black is a transition. I will say that. But I am trying to. And while I was fixing Eric's issue, I did check this out in the mirror in the bathroom. Um... It doesn't look good in there either, but I'm going to add a little bit more bronzer underneath and see if I could balance it. I mean, that red is, it's there. And there's just probably no fixing it at this point. I like how the green, when you put it in there, kind of blends in and makes... A different color in a sense. <sighs> All right, so we got that. Now I want to go back into um, there is literally only one, two, three, four five, six, seven matte shades between the two palettes. I want to grab, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna go in with this pink shade at the top. That was a transition shade on the other one. This one. Let me be smart here. I want it to do a certain thing, so we're going to take these elf little things here. And we are going to put them on our face. things off the top of this <sighs> you see that it doesn't want to plop down right there for some reason all right there we go I'm going to pull it just a little bit across. Then I want to take this green shade again. Just somehow. I want to build it up over here. So it actually shows up. Then I want to take this blending brush. We're going to use this one. And we're going to go back into the this lighter transition shade in the Boo Crew. And we are going to kind of sweep the edges of these. To kind of... Alright, now we're going to take this brush... And I want to go into, which one was it? Was it this one or this one? 
It was that one. It was this bottom one in the Boo Crew right here. That was like a really pretty teal. I know none of these look eye colors really go together. And we are going to tap it onto the eyelid. It's not really doing what it did on the finger. Let's see if we could get the stamp. Forgot that one was a little messed up. Okay. We got it a little damp. Let's see if we could get more color payoff that way. And we are just gonna tap, tap, tap and build that color up. Let's go on the other side. That really does. I think this is the craziest eye look I've ever done on my channel. Let's see if we could build that color up a little better on the edges right there. Yeah, shows up a little better if you use your finger on the edge. All right, now I'm gonna take a little bit of the one that reminded me of glass bowl, this one right here. I'm gonna stick it on my finger. See if I could tap it over the edge. Oh, nah, it doesn't do anything. Okay, but it will, I bet you, do good as an inner corner. Maybe not. Okay. We'll use that color somewhere else eventually. All right. This is looking really pretty, and I hope this video is not that long. But I have to admit, this eye look is looking pretty damn good. All right. Excuse my language. Let's go into the black. And stamp it across the bottom here for an eyeliner. All right. All right, there we go. Now we're going to take, um, Let's build up that pink in the corner again, just a little bit. Let's see, where did that brush go? You know what, we'll just use this one. We'll grab that pink a little bit. And we'll kind of stamp it. All right, let's go ahead and grab this off. All right, now we're gonna take, oh, where'd it go? There it is.
There we go. Let's see. Um, Okay, take a little bit more. I know I'm messing up. That side looks good. This side looks like crap. Let's see if we can fix it with some concealer. Henry and Gordon were lonely when Thomas left the or run his crime slime. They missed him very much. They had more work to do and had to fix their own coaches. Let's take some concealer on it. And just add it across there. And then grab this. And then we're going to take... Okay, a something happening with my storage. So, like I was saying, I don't know when. <laughs> I did put this on. This is a Kylie Cosmetics um, lip liner that's red and an Ofra and Mina. I don't know when it shut off. Um, if you just look at this side, oh, it's a pretty good makeup look. <laughs> This blush, I wouldn't recommend this blush unless you can figure out how to put it on. The eyeshadows, gorgeous. I love these eyeshadows, the way they're working. I love this eye look minus this wing. So if you take the wing off of this side, it actually looks pretty good. You leave the wing on, it doesn't look good, but this wing looks good. Um, overall, I would say it's a pretty good look. I did use the ColourPop um, mascara and... Um, we're gonna use that and we're gonna go ahead and grab I'm hoping this stays um, I have to figure out what's going on with my phone let's go ahead and take this and add just a tad bit brightness right there and a little bit right there so that does look pretty decent lipsticks are that lipstick is like popping all right and I don't know how to fix this to show you the difference without taking it off. So we'll do that. And we will take this that has some pink on it. And just kind of blend that back out a little bit right there. Where's that other thing at? There it is. doesn't look perfect but this channel we don't do perfect <laughs> so I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I hope this video wasn't too long um I really do like the way that eye turned out and I love the way this eye turned out until I messed up the wing so um y'all have a great day bye